meals and a mug. I have three mugs here. We're going to do three different types of meals. We are going to do a French toast meal in a mug, pizza in a mug, and a macaroni and cheese in the mug. I have my macaroni and I have my flour for the pizza dough. And I also have my bread for the French toast. And we're going to start by doing the French toast in a mug because it is the easiest. I'm going to use the smiley face mug here. I'm just going to move everything out of the way. And it says to cube up a couple of pieces of bread. Just crack one egg into your mug and then you're going to mix it. This is great for college students, for single people, for children. I'm going to pour in about a tablespoon of milk. You can add sugar if you want. I'm just going to add syrup. I don't eat all that brown sugar or anything. And make sure you beat the egg well. And you're going to take pieces of bread and cube them. I'm going to fill up the mug here. Two slices of bread. Then you're going to take your fork and mix the bread all around and the egg and milk mixture. Add some syrup. I'm going to pop this into the microwave for about two minutes to start. Just going to mix it a little more now that the syrup's in here. It already smells amazing. Now we're going to put this into the microwave on high for two minutes and we're going to test it. I'm going to make sure that the, the egg is cooked. the mug into the microwave. Make sure you set it for two minutes. I'm high. I'm going to let that cook and we're going to check it. I have here my girl boss mug and we're going to do pizza in the mug. I'm going to about two to two and a half spoonfuls of all-purpose flour. And you're just going to mix up the flour a little bit. And I'm going to add some garlic. About a teaspoon. And we're going to add some water. About a tablespoon of water. mix all that up into a little dough ball forms within the mug. Just a couple of spoonfuls. And grab your fork. We'll check on that French toast in a moment. You're going to mix up the garlic and the flour together. Needs a little more water. I 
have a large tablespoon here that I'm using. It's going to be about four of these. I want to make sure it is solid here. Let's take out the French toast in a mug. I went ahead and stocked it because it was going to come up to dough for the pizza. I'm going to put this in for another 60 seconds. So this one's going to take well about 2 minutes and 60 seconds. Three minutes total. Just want to make sure everything is mixed well. And this is going to go in for three minutes. Then we're going to add the sauce and the cheese and the pepperoni if you wish. I'm not a fan of pepperoni anymore. Just let's just be sauce and some cheese. And we're going to pop it in for a total of five and a half minutes. This is about 48 seconds. We're going to go over to the other counter and start adding in the macaroni for macaroni and cheese in a mug. I have the mug here. I'm going to add in the macaroni. About a half a cup. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it up with cold water and let it sit for a couple minutes before we do anything. Let the water run cold for a minute. I'm going to fill it up just above the macaroni. We're going to let that sit. Now we're going to go over to the microwave and take a look at the French toast in the mug and add the pizza dough into the microwave. Go ahead and take it out. All right, she's safety. I went around hot items. I'll show you what the mug looks like. It looks awesome and it smells really good. Now for the dough here, it's just water and garlic and all-purpose flour. I'm going to do it in for about three minutes first. And we're going to go ahead and try this. Here's what the French toast in a mug looks like. It looks and smells really good. I cannot wait to try it. It just came out of the microwave, so you're going to use a pot holder under it so you don't burn yourself. Oh, this smells so good. Mmm. The French toast in the mug is really good. You'll have to try this. I'm going to check on the pizza dough now. Now, the first step was to soak the macaroni for a few minutes. Then I strained it and replaced it with fresh water and filled it up just below the macaroni. We are going to pop this into the microwave for about 90 seconds, and then we're going to add cheese. Go ahead and take the pizza dough out see how it's doing. It's soliding up, so I'm going to add the sauce and the cheese, and we'll pop it back in the microwave. But first, we're going to put this in for 90 seconds on high. That is the macaroni noodles for macaroni and cheese. And then we're going to take this mug with the dough in it and put some sauce and mozzarella on it. Have some leftover sauce, extra flour. What a great way to use up all your leftovers. And add the sauce to your desired amount. Don't forget to put the pepperoni on it if you're a fan of it. And you're going to add your cheese. Now I have cheese slices for the macaroni. I'll be breaking up a couple of those for that. Put 
the pizza one in the microwave for about... Ninety seconds. You break up cheese from the macaroni, or if you have shredded cheese, whatever you wish. This is all from my refrigerator and my pantry. I'll be stopping up this weekend on cheeses and things. And I'm getting low on cream soups. Keep my stockpile going well. And then this lump's going to go back in for 90 seconds and you're going to stir it. Put the macaroni and cheese one back in. Another 90 seconds. I'm going to show you the pizza one. And there's the pizza one with the cheese melted on top and the sauce all bubbly. Pizza in a mug and you can eat it with a spoon. Go ahead and try the pizza in a mug. Mmm, it's really good. You just put a little bit of garlic or oregano if you want, and use good flour, or if you already have pizza dough or biscuit, put the biscuit at the bottom. You can do a pizza and rub that way too. The macaroni one's gonna go in for 30 more seconds. I hit the wrong button by accident. I hate that. Now, the macaroni one, so far I'm not a fan of. It did explode a little bit in the microwave. It wasn't that bad of a mess. I rinsed the plate off and put it back. And I'm going to put it in for another 30 seconds. The cheese melted very nicely and it looks very creamy, so we're going to taste it and then decide from there. There it is, out of the microwave. Looks very good. We're going to try some. It's very cheesy. Mm, noodles cooked well. So about 3 minutes 30 seconds for the noodles to cook. Looks decent. It just made a little bit of a mess. I would cover it with a microwave safe lid if you're going to do the homemade macaroni and cheese in a mug. Here's what all three of them look like. We have the French toast, we have the macaroni and cheese, and we have the pizza in the mug. Now the macaroni didn't cook all the way in some of the noodles. So that one, it tasted good, okay, and it was nice and creamy. This one was really good, but the dough part got real hard, probably from being microwaved. So I'm going to look further into the recipe and try it again, see if I can perfect it. The best one was the French toast in a mug. This one came out perfect, and it was delicious. And I just added syrup the way I did it, with the one egg, tablespoon of milk, and then a tablespoon of syrup with the two cubed pieces of bread. Just mix it well and put it in the microwave until everything's done.